Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we do math tutorials and simplifying educational technologies for you. In this particular video, I'm going to be sharing some essential applications that I use on the iPad to share content with my students, teachers, parents, colleagues, and so on and so forth. This will be particularly useful for engineers, uh, chemists, uh, math teachers, anyone who uses special characters or terminology in their content um, and they really struggle to find those special characters, okay? So let's jump straight into it. Uh, the first application I'm going to be sharing with you is um, a mathematical keyboard or a science keyboard, okay? Uh, and that's going to be Psyche. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the App Store and download Psyche. So just type in Psyche in the App Store. Uh, here it is. I've already installed it. So it's this application here. This is what the logo looks like. Okay, Psyche, scientific keyboard. There are a plethora of different applications and I have gone through all of them um, but I'm sticking to Psyche for now. I think this is the most robust application um, for now anyway. Once you've installed the application what you need to do is you need to go to your settings. So let's go find settings. Here we go and in settings you're under the general tab. So here under general you need to go to keyboard and then from keyboard click on keyboards which is right in the top. Okay, and we're going to add in a new keyboard. So we're going to add in the, add in the keyboard. I'll show you how you do that because I already have Psyche here. I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so you'll add a new keyboard and we're going to obviously add Psyche. So I'm going to add in the Psyche keyboard. What you need to do is one little minor step is click on uh, Psyche and then allow full access. Okay, so look, once you click on this allow full access, you'll have uh, a pop-up notification that will say to you, hey, do you want to allow this? And we're going to say, yes, allow, okay? That application is now globally accessible in all of your different apps across the iPad. So look at this then. I usually use GoodNotes to um, do note-taking. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new note. Uh, how do I access Psyche? Well, I click on this globe icon, click and hold, okay? So basically long press on this and then I can access Psyche from here. These are all of the special characters and I can go through the options key to select other um, options as well. So for example, I've got superscript here so for my index notation. Um, I've got subscript, this is very useful for ionic formulas. So for example, we can do H2SO4, comment in the section below if you know what that uh, element is. We can do a whole plethora of different app, um, notations now. So for example, I wanna know I want to write down the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. That's nice and straightforward. However, what if I want you to do something like the square root of 10? The square root of 10 is an irrational number. This introduced me to the second application that I'm going to show you that I use in my workflow. Um, but before we get to it, what I really want to do is I don't want to write equal to, I want to say it's approximately equal to something. Now, getting the approximation key, that special character, it's available here. It's very simple. Just press the options key. Uh, and here we go, here it is. So I'm gonna go press on the approximate and it's 3.16, okay? Approximately equal to 3.16. You see what I've done there? I've used subscript, I've used a square root, I've used an approximation sign and there's so many different uh, signs, options available for you to use here. Okay, so if we're writing the quadratic formula, we can do minus B plus or minus, here we go, look, plus or minus, the square root, press option the square root, uh, and complete that formula. So it's very, very useful in writing out formulae and special characters in notations in uh, your content. Right, the second application that I wanna share with you is actually a calculator, yeah? And what I usually do here, so for example, if I had something like, I don't know, the square root of 54, the square root of 54. Now, instead of getting a secondary calculator or pulling out my phone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with the iPad and I'm gonna stick in this application. This is the app, it's called Calculator, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sideload that app. So let's go back to, where were we, GoodNotes, and in my dock, okay, if I hold on this app and I can have it as a floating widget, okay, as a floating app. So this floating app would be hidden on this side. Now, I wanna, type here the square root of 54 okay the square root of 54 so what is the square root of 54 i can bring it in from the side and just write here square root of 54 and that will automatically um, calculate it for me i'm going to use two decimal places and i'm going to say it's approximately 7.35 okay so here i can write now 7.335 but it's approximately it's not equal to it's approximately so i can go here and i can do my approximation 
Here I look, it's approximately uh, 7.35. So, really, really excited to have shared that with you. It's a very simple video. Uh, this is Psyche. There are other applications that allow you to do this. In fact, look, let's say there's a, there's a special character that's not in here. Well, you can optionally buy in-app purchase to uh, customize this application with different symbols as you like, okay? There are, I think there's like 3,000 different symbols that you can use to um, customize this keyboard. However, there is a different application and it's Character Map. Okay, you can go find Character Map and you can type in anything that you want here. What are you looking for? Are you looking for Pi? Are you looking for uh, Sigma? Are you looking for Square Root? What are you looking for? So if you type it in, you can copy that. That's been copied now. And now I can go back to my application over here and I can type in Sigma. So copy and paste Sigma, okay? Now, the beauty of this is this is all text-based, okay? So I can edit this um, to my heart's content with different symbols and characters for uh, my notation. But what if I didn't want it as text? What if I wanted it as a, a PNG, as an image, okay? There is a third application that I use in my workflow, and this application is called MathPad, okay? What MathPad allows you to do is write down formulae, so I can write down different formulae here, okay? Um, so I'm going to annotate this formula here and then I can copy that so I can go to export and I'm just going to copy that as an image okay and then if I go back to good notes here I can hold this down here and paste paste this formula here now this is an image okay it's a PNG which is nice because it doesn't go you know it floats over this stuff but I can't edit it so that's why although MathPad is fantastic Psyche allows me to import special characters directly from the keyboard okay which is fantastic so Psyche keep an eye out on Psyche this floating uh, contraption here is my script calculator it's fantastic in its implementation that um, speeds up my workflow in terms of its computational um, algorithms, they're not that superior, they're not that strong. In fact, go and watch the previous video that I done on Microsoft uh, Math, which is amazing. It allows you to problem solve uh, with multiple unknowns, okay, simultaneous equations, advanced trigonometry, calculus, uh, and it has quizzes. Go and check out that video, but that's, that's, that's in another, uh, another stream. So here, uh, I'm just gonna really quickly mentioned then the three applications uh, that I use on a regular basis. It's Calculator, MathPad, and Psyche, okay? So, and, and they're all free by the way. I think I have upgraded some of them. Anyway, comment in the section below. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. I'll be uploading other um, series of educational technologies, um, simplify education technologies, and of course, the math tutorials are always and ever continuing, okay? So, as always, I'll see you in the next one.